What is up, you horror nerds? It is me, your host, Jeremiah Duncan. Welcome back to the channel. Today's review is a classic. It's a classic, and I guarantee you already have this in your collection if you are a horror fan like myself. But if you aren't, you need to get this because it's important to have on your shelf so everybody thinks you are legit. I'm talking about the 1987 Creep Show 2. Yes, this is the sequel to Creep Show. And it's not really a sequel because it kind of does its own thing. If you aren't familiar with these, it's basically multiple stories, kind of like a Twilight Zone feel. It is rated R, runs for an hour and 32 minutes, seven out of 10, because it's awesome and it's great. The stories are great. If you are not familiar with this one, Number two, let me tell you, three new gruesome tales of horror. The rotting creep himself is back with three new gruesome tales of horror that will make your skin crawl. A cigar store wooden Indian comes to life to avenge the store owner's brutal, mur brutal murder at the hands of three punks in Old Chef Woodenhead. Then four teenagers become the target of a terrifying man-eating oil slick in The Raft. The chills continue with The Hitchhiker. The frightening tale of a woman who keeps running into and over the same mutilated man on a lonely road. Prepare for a terrifying roller coaster rides from the Masters of Horror. And it is from the Masters of Horror. This is a New Line Cinema release. And it's so cool. The whole series is great. I love the comic and where it goes back. And it's like cartoons and real. And I mean, it's directed. This one was directed by Michael um, Gornick. Uh, he had roles in Dawn of the Dead, the original, the 78 one. Also produced the Monsters TV show. Now, here's why you know it's good. So this was co-written by the gods, okay? Co-written by Stephen King. Co-written by George A. Romero. Co-written by Lucille Fletcher. Oh, what? You don't know that name? Well, that's... She wrote for The Twilight Zone. She wrote for Night Watch. I mean, pretty awesome. I mean, that's a trifecta of writing, if you if you will, and I will. Also features George Kenry, rest in power, who, of course, is in Cool Hand Luke, as well as the Naked Gun movies. He's in the, um, the Cigar Store one, which he does great. Um, again, three stories. Loved it. Got to watch the first one, too. They're not connected in any way whatsoever, just three alternate stories. The budget was like $3.5 for this. And it opened with $3.5 So look at that. They broke even. Tips of the hat to them. But worldwide, they have grossed $14 million on this, which is pretty rad. Creep Show 7 out... 2. Creep Show 2. 7 out of 10. Rated R. Check it out if you haven't. I love it. If you've seen a comment below, let me know which of your three are your favorite. I got to go with the Cigar Store Indian because that's a cool story. Like, subscribe, hit the death bell for notifications. I appreciate y'all so much. Stick around. I got more reviews coming to you.